Hi, I'm Rakesh Om Prakash Naira. It's an amazing opportunity. And, uh, as you know, 20 countries are here. Uh, there are various topics related to media and entertainment, uh, challenges we face, uh, opportunities present and in the future. A few ways in which you think that digital disruption is changing the business of content. It's definitely in terms of it's finding its audience. Uh, that's uh, most importantly, that's what's happening. So uh, even if we are not geared up uh, for uh, distribution, the content is finding its audience, the audience is finding its content in more way than one. However, having said that, uh, it needs to be kind of, <coughs> needs to be standardized because uh, people are consuming content, uh, say for example, on their smartphones, which, which was not made for smartphones, which was made for a big screen. <coughs> so digital needs to translate into big screens, so that kind of reach is uh, the next level now. Are these exciting times uh, for filmmakers? All times are exciting times. Uh, for, for does, does the digital revolution in some way make it more exciting, considering that there are a whole, a whole lot of new avenues for filmmakers now? Uh, well, um, I, I, it's always positive for me, so uh, I think it's content which is uh, more important. And the digital revolution is uh, more like the vehicle as such. So, uh, yes, uh, you should use the vehicle and the technology. Um, and it's like a double-edged sword, so you can, there's use and misuse. So, <clears throat> to understand it properly and then use it, yeah. So, uh, do you think that, uh, uh, you know, content rather than technology will drive uh, digital uh, content consumption? Any, any, in, in, in uh, any trade, any practice is always the content which, which drives. So uh, seldom we have the tail wagging the dog. So having having said that, uh, it's uh, uh, digital is not something which is very new to us. It's almost a decade old, and uh, uh, yes, we are recognizing it. Uh, now in a big way is inevitable and uh, it, it, it's what will connect uh, a vast country like India. Uh, speaking of the inevitable, what do you think are the uh, you know, inevitable uh, changes that perhaps one will see in the media and entertainment sector uh, uh, in the short term? More and more uh, kind of experiments are happening on augmented reality and uh, so there will be a confluence of uh, real reality, virtual, augmented, um, stuff like 3D seems like thing of a past. So uh, all these will influence uh, future storytelling. Uh, what will uh, going to emerge out of it um, uh, in my limited kind of imagination is we are looking at more interactive kind of content. Uh, and I'm not talking about gaming, I'm talking about storytelling, uh, where the audience uh, should find herself as part of the story. And that will have huge uh, impact, both emotionally and psychologically. Uh, not to talk about the business, that is any way follows when you do something path-breaking. So that's going to have a huge impact, I think, which is interactive storytelling. Uh, all right, and finally, uh, you know, your next film, the release of your next film is around the corner. Are you nervous, excited? Uh, neither. It's uh, uh, being nervous or excited. It's, um, it's a movie we've been working for very long, and uh, uh, I'm really lucky and blessed that I am uh, getting to translate the work of the legendary Gujar Bhai. So Gulzar has written the screenplay and script, and um, and then I've interpreted it for cinema. So that for me is uh, uh, a single, um, um, uh, the biggest thing which has come out of Mirzia. Uh, also had the opportunity of working with newcomers, 
which again uh, was wonderful because uh, I was learning more from them than trying to tell them anything. And so which was uh, again trying to see uh, the world again through the eyes of youngsters and, and, and newcomers. It, it was fascinating, absolutely. And uh, uh, you, you had to uh, be really running fast and trying to catch up with them all the time.